In a previous video, I showed how our best guess as to the number of parties that win seats in a given district is equal to the square root of district magnitude m. In this video, I go beyond that to look at the number of parties that win seats nationwide. We're going to use the same logic that we used before. We'll say that our best guess as to the number of parties that win seats nationwide is the geometric mean of the lower and the upper bound. We get that by multiplying these two quantities together and taking the square root. Let's start with the upper bound, or the largest possible number of seat winning parties. The most permissive system we can imagine is one where there's a single nationwide district. This is what happens in the Netherlands. Here, district magnitude M is just equal to the size of the assembly S. Before, we said that in the case of a single district, the number of seat winning parties is the square root of district magnitude. Here, that's the same as the square root of the assembly size S. So that expression gives us our upper bound. Now let's move on to the lower bound, or the smallest possible number of seat winning parties. Imagine a country divided up into a number of equally sized districts. Earlier, we said that our best guess as to the number of parties that win seats in a single district is equal to the square root of district magnitude. If we want to be consistent, then we can't say that fewer parties will win seats nationwide than win seats in a single district. And so our lower bound is equal to the square root of district magnitude. When we calculate the geometric mean of these two quantities, we get this expression. After simplifying, this leaves us with an equation that looks like this. Our best guess as to the number of seat winning parties in a country is equal to the average district magnitude times the assembly size raised to the power of one quarter. Let's see how that works in practice. This is Portugal. There are 230 seats in the Portuguese parliament. The 230 members of parliament are elected in districts of different sizes, but the average district size is just under 18. 230 times 18 is a shade over 4,000, and if we raise this figure to the power of one quarter, we end up predicting that eight parties will win seats in the Portuguese parliament. Here on this slide is the current composition of the parliament with eight parties almost exactly what the seat product model predicted.